What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel and it's time to continue our 2023 college football predictions for the upcoming 2023 college football season. Up next, it's the Michigan Wolverines, a team that's coming off the Big Ten Championship win from last year. And then, of course, making the college football playoff. Eliminated, though, in the semifinal, they made the college football playoff now two years in a row. Will we see them again for a third consecutive year in the college football playoff? And maybe this time a national championship is on the horizon. Uh, this is a team that's kind of favored to win, you know, the Big Ten East this year and definitely all the Big Ten this upcoming season. But there are definitely a lot of challenges ahead of them. They still have to play, you know, their rivals in the Big Ten East. So but the Michigan Wolverines coming off a really fantastic season last year going 13-1. and Let's now look at the schedule for 2023. The schedule looks like this for Michigan, again, coming off a 13-1 season last year. Uh, they, they'll play East Carolina, UNLV, Bowling Green in the non-conference, and then outside of the Big Ten East, they'll play Nebraska, Minnesota, and they'll also play Purdue. Uh, they'll, get only, they'll only get Purdue at home out of the West, and they will play Nebraska and Minnesota both on the road. And, in fact, that's back-to-back -back road games there for Michigan. So, I mean, that's a very tough back-to-back -to -back when you think about it for road games, but... Uh, other than that, Michigan's schedule kind of sets up for them, you know, pretty well for maybe another run at the college football playoff and maybe for another run for a national championship and also for the Big Ten championship. But let's go game by game now and give you an official prediction for this Michigan team, a team that's returning a lot of production, you know, heading into this year, um, mostly in the top ten for returning production. And obviously, J.J. McCarthy and Blake Corum are the biggest returns for Michigan heading into the season. So Michigan starts out their season. Season with three non-conference games will play East Carolina, UNLV, and Bowling Green. I really don't see any problems here for Michigan's offense and obviously their defense to really handle these non-conference teams. And I got them winning all three of their non-conference games here to start out the season. I think they take care of business pretty much all of these games that win by more than three touchdowns. And I got Michigan starting out 3-0 in the 2023 season. They'll open a Big Ten play here against the Rutgers here on September 23rd. I really don't expect to see the Rutgers really all that talented, you know, this upcoming season. I think Michigan kind of rolls over this Rutgers team and plus it's a home game I, I expect Michigan you know to score a lot of points in this game maybe 30 or 40 points in their first you know Big Ten test but it's not really a big test for Michigan so I got Michigan now improving to 4-0 and they'll play back-to-back -back road games here on September the 30th and October the 7th uh, they'll play Nebraska here on the road Minnesota on the road as well Nebraska's got a new head coach but it's gonna be a tough place to play here for Michigan uh, Nebraska, obviously, is a lot of question marks, but, I mean, this team, you know, I think will get better down the stretch maybe in the few years to come. But, however, I think Michigan is just way too talented. I don't really expect to, to see this game all that close. Maybe it's close in the first quarter, but I think Michigan will start to pull away. And I got the Wolverines defeating the Cornhuskers here of Nebraska here on September the 30th. So I got Michigan now improving to 5-0. and uh, They'll get to the month of October. They'll play Minnesota here on the road. Another tough place to play for Michigan. I don't expect Minnesota to be all that good, you know, like they were last year. They went 8-4. and four. I mean, this is a team that, you know, does return a decent amount of production, but I really don't expect them, you know, to be a really big contender in the West. But, however, the West is going to be wide open, so we kind of expect, you know, every West team to compete. But I think Michigan is just way too talented and way more talented than Minnesota here. And I think Michigan does grab the win here on the road at Minnesota. And I got Michigan now starting out 6-0. and oh, Heading into the 2023 season, or I should say improved to, improving to 6-0 on the season. Uh, next game at home against Indiana, an Indiana team that's really, you know, kind of went downhill last year. Uh, they do return about a, you know, a good amount of production on the defensive side of the football. The offense, though, is what I'm concerned about Indiana heading into the season. I think Michigan is the better team, plus they have home field advantage in this game. And I'm going to say that the Michigan Wolverines will win this one, maybe by a blowout, maybe by more than three touchdowns, perhaps. So Michigan now improving to 7-0. Next game on the road at Michigan State. This is another tough one here. This is another tricky game for Michigan. I kind of had to go back and forth on this game because it's a rival game. You never know what can happen, perhaps. Uh, Michigan State does return about 80% of their production on offense. Defensively, though, is what I'm concerned about for the Spartans. 
Plus, they also lost their starting starting quarterback. He's now heading into the transfer portal. He's heading to Auburn, and that kind of does concern me here for this Michigan State team. So with that being said, I think Michigan is the better team. Remember a couple years ago, Michigan went on the road to face Michigan State, and they lost that game. But I think this time the Wolverines will be ready for a tough road test. And I think they do defeat the Spartans here of Michigan State on October the 21st. And I got Michigan now improving to 8-0. And they head into the month of November now. Uh, this is a pretty tough stretch here in the month of November. They'll play Purdue here on November the 4th. This is a rematch from last year's uh, Big Ten Championship game. Purdue, I really don't expect to be all that good this year. I mean, I know they are going to have a new head coach, but I think it's just going to really come down to that new coaching staff, how well motivated they will be. I think they'll still compete for a Big Ten championship perhaps, but I mean, with that being said, and you know, it's really hard to tell what this team is going to look like, but I think Purdue, you know, won't have a really good shot here to defeat Michigan. I think Michigan rolls over Purdue in this game, plus it's a home game for Michigan, and I think the Wolverines should score maybe 30 or more points in this game on this Purdue team. It's kind of similar to the Rutgers and, of course, Indiana perhaps, so... But I got Michigan now improving to 9-0. Next game on the road at Penn State. This is going to be a tricky road game here for Michigan. And this is kind of about the time where the college football playoff rankings come out. And, you know, also, you know, maybe maybe Michigan is ranked number one heading into this game in the college football playoff pose. These, these could be one of those upset alert type games. Plus, Penn State, you know, their offense loses a lot. But the defense is really going to be good this year for Penn State. I mean, it's going to be a tough road game. I mean, you see how loud it is down there when you go on the road to face Penn State. With that being said, home field advantage, and this one's being a tough one to call, I'm going to go with the upset. I'm going to go with Penn State to defeat Michigan here, and I got Penn State giving Michigan's first loss of the season. I don't think Michigan fans will be happy about that, but it, let's be honest. It's a tough road game to play at, and I think Michigan does lose this one here on the road at Penn State. Then Michigan has to play Maryland here on the road the next week. And, you know, you're coming off a loss to Penn State. I think Michigan will be well motivated, you know, to get ready for this one as well. Uh, coming off maybe a sloppy performance against Penn State in their road game test. I think Michigan, though, will defeat Maryland here. I know Maryland's going to be a pretty interesting team this year. Uh, they do have a lot of production a little bit coming back, but I think Michigan will be ready for this one and get ready for a tough test on the road at Maryland. But I got Michigan now improving to 10-1. and Then it's the game here against Ohio State on November 25th. I mean, it could decide, you know, the Big Ten East, perhaps. I mean, Penn State probably could be falling apart after that, you know, loss to after that win against Michigan, and maybe Michigan and Ohio State are now battling for a spot, you know, in the college football playoff and obviously in the um, Big Ten championship. But this is the game. This is the game that really determines every single year of the Big Ten East. It could not really determine the East this year, perhaps, but um, Michigan really got the better hand of Ohio State last year. And now Michigan has them at home this year. And with that being said, it's a really tough one to call. And I have to say, I have to go with home field advantage. I think Michigan will be ready, obviously, for Ohio State. And I got the Wolverines defeating Ohio State here on November 25th in the last game of the regular season. And I got the Michigan Wolverines finishing with an overall record at 11-1 for the 2023 season. Yeah, that Penn State game is a really definitely a big upset or tight game. But don't sleep on those road other road games with Michigan. Michigan State, Minnesota, and Nebraska. I don't think they. I don't think they can probably lose to Nebraska, to be honest, because that's a new era for that team. And Minnesota, obviously, I mean that could be another tricky test there for Michigan. But I think Michigan does at least lose one game here on that schedule, and that's Penn State here on the road. It will be a tough place to play. So I got Michigan finishing 11 and one in 2023. Let me guys know what you think about this prediction for Michigan. And again, we'll do more predictions throughout this week. And stay tuned here for more sports content on the Lucas Ross Sports Channel.